Assalamu alaikum students how are you all as you know that i am your english teacher and i will teach you oxford reading circle book 8 as you know i have explained the half chapter of the flying trunk which is the month of november but now today i am going to start the explanation of remaining part of the flying trunk once mighty have fallen on such hard times we were high born but we knew i have to live in a cage mine has been a very different fate remark the iron saucepan from the day i was born i have had to endure great leadership i have been scrapped and scored washed and dried dropped and banked with a spoon and constantly burned whenever something solid is required in this house even if it is only to prop up in a door i am the one selected my only pleasure in life has been when i have been cleaned and placed on the shelf with a little spare time to talk with my neighbor all of us except for the bucket which is sometimes taken into the courtyard have to spend all our days in here and as for receiving news from the outside world well i can tell you oh do take a breath said the tinder box who was getting of listening to the old saucepan you talk too much and with that the tinder box left of some of some sparks and said we want a merry evening don't we but of course that the matches let us discuss the matter of birth and position and find out who are the highest born Fiddle stick replied the saucepan why must we always talk about who are we are and where we came from let's have some other amusement and they all were silent for a while deep in thought i know cried the saucepan at last we can all tell something that has happened to ourselves that will be easy and jolly i shall begin What a good idea said the plates we shall all yes well in my youth continued the saucepan i lived with a quiet family where the furniture was polished the floors scoured and where clean cutting were put up very every fortnight what an interesting way you have of relating a story said the carpet broom it is easy to perceive that you have been a great deal in genteel society there is something truly noble in what you say so true said the water bucket splashing some water on the floor at this point the merchant sons paused and look to see if the assembly were enjoying the tale by the look on the faces of the king and queen and the sparkle in the princess's eyes he knew that the story was going down well so continued the end of the saucepans story was just as good as the beginning the plates rattled with pleasure and the carpet room did a merry dance swirling up the dust on the floor and the fire tongs joined in oh how they danced and frolicked then he cheer the cushion in the corner burst out laughing and she hitch up her frilly cover and join the dance but all the while but all the while the matches stood up part thinking how commonly 
the R. The T run was asked to sing, but she said she was too cold and could not sing still she was warmed up. Oh, cried the other, look at you. We suppose it is only in the parlor that you can sing on a polished table with great people around. The atmosphere in the kitchen became heated. The kill pen with, with the maid wrote her list the tea kettle a soprano and half brother to tea urn and even the shopping basket all joined in the debate but then the maid entered and the kitchen was silence and still the pots did not stir but felt that if they had wanted to they could have suggested some brilliant ideas of games to play. The maid took the matches and lighted them there. How they sputtered and blazed up. Now then, they thought, everyone will see that we are the best. How we do shine, how we do sparkle. What a bright light we give. But even while these grand thoughts came to mind and their light fizzled out and died. What a capital story, said the queen, looking with wonder at the merchant son. I felt as if I were really in the kitchen and could see the matches. Yes. You shall marry our daughter. Certainly, agreed the king, and the princess clapped her hands in delight. Certainly, agreed the king, and the princess clapped her hands in delight. The wedding day was fixed, and preparations were made. On the evening before the wedding, the whole city was illuminated. Cakes and sweetmeats were distributed. The street boys shouted hurry and stuck their fingers in their mouth and whistled. It was a very splendid affair. I shall give them another treat, thought the merchant son. He went off unnoticed and bowed rocket and crackers and all sorts of fireworks. He packed them in his trunk and flew up with it into the air. What a whizzing and popping they made as they went off over the town and the Turks danced in the street and sang, Our princess is going to wait a real Turkish angel. And as for receiving news from the outside world, well, I can tell you. Oh, do take a breath, said the tinderbox, who was getting rather tired of listening to the old saucepan. You talk too much. And with that, the tinderbox let off some sparks and said, we want a merry evening, don't we? But of course, said the match, let us discuss the matter of birth and position and find out who are the highest born. Fiddlestick, replied the saucepan, why must we always talk about who we are and where we came from? And they all were silent for a while deep into thought. I know, cried the saucepan at last. We can all do something that has happened to ourselves that will easy and jolly I shall begin. What a good idea, said the plate. We shall all that, I am sure. Yes, well, in my youth, continued the saucepan, I lived with a quiet family where the furniture 
was polished. The floor scores and where clean certain were put up every fortnight. What an interesting you have relating story said the carpet room. It is easy to perceive that you have been great deal in gentle society. There is something truly novel in what you say. So true said the water bucket. Splashing some water on the floor. At this point the merchant uh, sons paused and looked to see if the assembly were enjoying the tale. By the look on the face of the king and queen and the sparkle in the prince's eyes, he knew that the story was going down well. So he continued. The end of the saucepan's story was just as good as the beginning. The place rattled with pleasure, and the carpet broom did a merry dance, swirling up the dust on the floor, and the fire tongues joined in. Oh, how they danced and frolicked! Then the chair cushion in the corner burst out laughing and she washed the frilly cover and joined in the dance but all the while the matches stood apart thinking how common they are. The tea urn was asked to sing but she said she was too cold and could not sing still she was warm up. Oh cried the others look at you we supposed it is only in the polar that you can sing on a polished table with grain purple round the atmosphere in the kitchen became heated the quill pen which the maid wrote her placed the tea when the display was over the merchant son returned in his trunk to the world i shall walk back into the town now he said to himself and hear what they think of the entertainment how beautiful it was, said one. I saw the angel myself, and said another. His eyes glittered like the stars, said a third. He flew in a mantle of fire, cried another. The merchant son puffed up his chest. How proud he felt, but not for long. When he returned to the world, he found a spark and burned his trunk to ashes. The merchant sons could fly no more, nor go to meet his bride. She stood all day on the roof waiting for him, and most likely she is waiting there still. While he wanders through the world telling fairy tales, but none of them so amusing as the one of related about the matches. So, students, I have completed the reading. Now I am going to start the explanation by summarizing the chapter that you have learned in this chapter. So start the story of flying trunk. It is the story of a wealthy merchant who was rich and have paved whole the street with golden and gold coins but he was but he was very careful to take in his money and he saved a lot but also he was very clever he did not uh, spend his money and he made an more and more and continue still one day he was died so his he has one son who was inherited his all inherited properties and money that was a waste fortune for his son but his son was totally prudent like the father he always uh, extra vegan life he had parties and he went to town every evening he made the kites 
of money currency and flatted of the wind he after that uh, someone is cut off he laughed and sometimes he skimmed the gold coins in the river despite some people skipped the flat stones but he skimmed the gold coins he uses the gold coins to drop in the river his friends told him do not waste your money one day he will be empty but he didn't listen anyone and after loss his all money he left just a pair of slippers and one in old dress thing gown and just a four gold coins that was the worst day for him so he was uh, taking the fun ke how he could live and what should he do so he was having a marvelous time and flew over towns cities mountains until uh, one day he arrived in turkey by using his uh, trunk that he was uh, asking after he reached in turkey he met a woman and he asked which place is this and why they all are the people is wearing long gowns and all are in, in dressing gown that is really strange so lady told her uh, told him all the dressing gown they are playing or posing the turkish so here is the king's daughter who lived here replied the women and she was very beautiful but she was unlucky to having a love and his parents king and queen are always present with her so no one can meet with her so he was planning to meet her so he asked the lady that i can meet with her so he was making a plan okay i should go there to exemption his dressing gown and new slippers and will meet her with the daughter of king and queen so he met the queen and she told him you can meet a story which is so funny but the king said if you are making a story of funny but make in that little bit a uh, horrible too because he likes horrible stories not jokes that was the pleasure for the merchant son that he was chosen up and invited into the courtyard and he spent all over whole day by giving his stories and after the stories he have a spare time to talk with the neighbors and uh, daughters of king and he was uh, chatting with her he was saying i he will impress her parents king and queen by giving him story and he did like this he impressed both of the king and queen by giving his uh, stories and his everyone was there in the courtyard who was laughing and uh, clapping for his stories that he enjoyed his story 
after that their parents are agree that she will uh, they will marry her daughter with him but the delight it was not no longer because when the day of wedding the merchant son trunk was lost he lost his trunk by getting fire and uh, the trunk was smashed up in ashes so he couldn't he couldn't go there his wedding day to get wed with daughter of the king so he was uh, splashing the how could he go there what he should do there he was waiting of fairies as he listened the tale of fairies in his childhood that fairies come and solved out the problems of the people but there is nothing like that all flatted of wedding was smashed and spoiled that is the story he was thinking that he, that was the imagination not a reality so he think he could not be married with her to so one stunt somebody laughed and thinking thinking that how could he will reach in the courtyard for wedding with queen but he didn't go there that was the bad luck he was thinking how bitter it was and the people were talking it is very uh, beautiful that he was wedding uh, marrying with princess he saw he was really angel if he is angel he can be flew in a mantle of the fire if he does not then he is not the angel so in that the stories that was the made by himself that is not true so the wedding was spoiled because he couldn't reach at that place and everyone was wonder that he was telling the fairy stories that's why they couldn't believe on them and that was the matches with and related with the fairy tales so now student it is the story of the flying trunk aap logon ko jo hai ye chapter pura summarize kar diya hai as a story in english if you have any kind of problem you can ask in group agar koi bhi isse related koi problem hoti hai aap apne group ke andar mujhse pool sakte hain aur iska jo bhi work hoga i will send you in the group to aap logon ko jo tarike ka aur jo procedure maine bataya hai usi tarike se aap logon ko apna kaam karna hoga neat and clean and good writing ke sath aap bhi mujhe send karna hoga till then bye take care allah hafiz